Welcome to another tip of the day brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Rost. In this tip, I'm going to talk about cascading deletes and a question that was posed about them in my online forums. Hey folks, Rick here. Got an access question in the forums from Chris about cascade deletes. He says, when does the data in the cascading table get deleted when there are other records pointing to the same cascading record? For example, three people in a person table, each refer to the same address located in a different address table. In other words, you have lots of people that might have the same address, like you've got mom, dad, kids, and they're all pointing to a separate table that has the address in it. If there exists a global relationship between these two tables using the foreign key address ID in the person table and the primary key address ID in the address table. Each of the person T records, they refer to the same address record in address T. Will the address T record remain in the address T table until all three records have been deleted from the person table. All right, I set up a sample database. There's my person table. Person ID is the auto number, person name, Joe Bill Sue, whatever. And there's their address ID. That's the foreign key. And that's going to point to the address table, right? Address 1, address 2, address 3, Main Street, Park Avenue, someplace. There's three of these. And there's four people. The first three people have the same address. They're all from address 1. All right, maybe they're all Smiths, all right? Joe Smith, or they could be roommates, but we'll just make them all Smiths. Bill Smith, Sue Smith, and Mark is, uh, I don't know, Jones. Okay, now let's give it a try. Let's create some relationships. All right, database tools, relationships. Let's bring these both in, close it up. Now the relationship here is going to be the way we have it set up is one to many, address to person. So I'm going to flip these around just for visual purposes. All right, one address can be assigned to multiple people that way. Okay, one to many, address ID over here in the address table to address ID over in the person table. Usually this would go the other way around, usually. If you're doing like businesses and such, you'd have one company with multiple addresses or even a person with multiple addresses if they had a, a home address or a P.O. box, but I can certainly see a database where this would be the, the case, where you'd want to have it so that you could just put an address in there, maybe to, to limit mailings. You only want to make sure that you send one piece of mail to a specific address, even though if you've got a database of families or, you know, membership database kind of thing where you don't want to send eight pieces of mail to the same address. I, I get it. I understand why you'd want to set this up. All right, so it's one to many. Let's enforce referential integrity and cascade deletes. I almost never use cascade updates. It can't happen with auto numbers. Don't worry about it. Cascade deletes are now enforced. Okay, so theoretically, if I delete an address, all the people should go away. All right, I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen if you go the other way, though. I don't think it's going to delete the address, but let's find out. All right, save changes. Open up the address table. There you can see all the people associated with each address. All right, here's the person table. Now, I don't have anybody at address 3. All right, so let's put a person in here for address 3. Some dude, address 3. Okay, if I delete a person, all right, deleting one record, not a problem. Okay, but if I delete something from the one side of the equation, if I delete address 3 over here, let's put that person back. Some dude, address 3. All right, close that up. All right, if I delete address 3, it says, hey, now, relationships that specify cascading deletes are about to cause one records in this table, along with the related records in the related tables to be deleted. Are you sure? Say yes. Address 3 is gone, and now some dude is now gone as well. Okay, so keep that in mind. When you have your relationship set up, all right, in this case, we've got one to many from address to person, if you delete the one side, it's going to delete all the many's, but it won't go backwards, okay, unless you set it up that way, which in this case we wouldn't, all right? You could do a database where it's the other way around, right? One person for many addresses, and then, of course, if you delete the person, all the addresses go away, but it doesn't go backwards. So, Chris, I hope that answers your question. Basically, in a nutshell, when you delete the one side of it, all the many's go away. But if you delete any of the many's, or even all of the many's, it still leaves the one side intact. Think of it with, like, customers and orders. If you delete a customer, all of his orders go away. Whereas if you delete all of his orders, the customer record is still there. All right? But, of course, it's all dependent upon how you set up your database. 
Hope this answers your question, and look forward to talking to all of you soon.